Godzilla. Yes. Zilla, bitch. Godzilla. No, 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 no. Subscribe now. Okay. All right, man. I know we can't really talk about the movie, and I know you guys can't give me any spoilers. But online, we do this thing called spoilers without any context, where people put gifs, memes, little video clips of what happens in movies. So can you tell me about your character arc using like a meme or a gif or like a video clip? What clip would you guys use? Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Oh gosh. I wish I was more connected to like that culture of like gifs that you would use like offhand. I don't use gifs. Do okay. not. I've just started I using guess. emojis. But mine are all really inappropriate and like none of them are quite <laughs> applicable to like the plot. <laughs> The only video in my head is that cat that like jumps around to the song Sail. <laughs> that's not relevant at all. I think it's relevant. <laughs> is it? Okay. Yeah, people are yeah. jumping. For you, I would say I would, I would just put like a paper football. Or a paper football for you. Why is that? Oh. She, oh, this yeah. is a spoiler. As a spoiler. Can't the tell paper you guys football. I can't tell you guys. Oh, oh, oh. I can't talk about the movie either. <laughs> oh. To tell me about your character. I know what I would use. What? The one that's like Elmo, and he's like this, and he's like in fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it's like the that's... panic. It's like what I use for oh, panic. Oh, like, huh. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly what we're talking yeah. about. I would have used the, the gif of a LeBron James leaving the room. Like when you go, we're going to go find Thanos. Oh, yeah, I would have used yeah. that. When he grabs his oh, bag, yeah. that would have been that's good. Some... What would you pick? I just thought of a jug of milk sitting in the sun for about four days. Okay. Oh, that just, I, I didn't think That's that a really just, exciting meme, just, though, right? I don't know, but that just sounds delicious. <laughs> I didn't, forgot about the question because I'm like, mm, jug of milk in the sun for four days. Oh, yeah. Oh. Please get me a straw. That sounds spoiled to me. <laughs> it is a spoiler. Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah. that. With just some lunch meat draped <laughs> on top of it. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Yeah. Uh, when you guys get to, oh, 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 uh, you guys are at the premiere. Godzilla, calm down. <laughs> Yeah, at the premiere, right? Of, you got saw Infinity War, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Thor comes through. That was through. the one before this one. Yeah, right. <laughs> For, Thor when comes through. When we're not in, I didn't see it. <laughs> Thor comes I heard about it. Uh, Thor comes with the That's hammer. the one with this, right? That's yeah. right. I heard Still about it. Sucks that. for them. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> sucks for them. <laughs> sucks for them. <laughs> I gotta show up with the broom, put down my bow and arrow, oh, sweep up the ass. Thank you very you guys uh, got to film a scene <laughs> with Stan Lee, uh, uh, his cameo. What was that situation like for the both of you? It's just pretty cool to meet Stan Lee and to yeah. see him over and over again across, you know, over these years. We miss him. He's very important, obviously, to the franchise and to, to everyone who's into comic books at all. Uh, so it was really cool to have a shot to work with him, yeah. yeah. How about you? Yeah, it was always really special, you know, realizing that he was the guy that had invented all of this and all started with him. And, yeah. He, he was just a big kid at heart, you know, mm -hmm. vivid nice. sort of imagination and still wide-eyed and like blown away by all of it. And, and I think he was as, as impressed and as enthusiastic as we were that it was all happening, you know. And a real justice warrior and really somebody who uh, put it into his work and, mm. and about diversity and, and strength and representation. He was really about that inside the ropes and outside the ropes. So it's mm -hmm. great to be a part of his vision in that yeah. way too. Unbelievable. I mean, I, I met him years back on another on the Fantastic Four movies, and he's just always been such a you know. If he walks in the room, he's it's like it's like he's glowing. He's he's he got so it. much energy and so much love, and I, I, he's he's really just a, was such a special man. You know, so I I, I feel so lucky to even be in any way loosely connected to his legacy because he, he, he made such an impact for so many people in so many ways. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, man. He came up to me after, after the first Avengers, at the first Avengers premiere, and he's like, you, you got it, kid. Oh, really? <laughs> I was like, Sam, yeah. Sam just, Stan just said I got it, man. That yeah. is so cool. Yeah, he's like, you got, you got it, it, kid. kid. You got it, kid. Well, uh, I, I, I will say I got to film, I got to meet Stan Lee on Ant-Man. And uh, one of the coolest things I take from the entire experience was when he came in to shoot a cameo for Ant-Man, I was there and I got to hang out with him a little bit. And they were filming something else and, and he just stayed. When he walked on set, everyone stopped. It was like the, you know, the, the Pope showed up. And, uh, and when we were sitting there, we were talking about Ant-Man and he was saying how excited he was that they were making Ant-Man into a film because for the first time you're really gonna be able to capture the scale and it was impossible to do with comic books because of panels. So uh, I just, I always think about that and just treasure that experience, that exchange. Oh, awesome, thank you for sharing that story, I appreciate it. Godzilla! Yes. Zilla bitch!